Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple timesheet application using Power Apps. Step one, we're going to create a SQL table. We don't have a query for that. Just copy this and run it in your SQL server. So this is going to create a couple of columns for us. Awesome. So a SQL table is created with all the defined columns already. So now in the Power Apps, we are going to establish the connection to the SQL table. So go to the Power Apps home screen and from under the start from data, choose a SQL server. And what happens is it will provide me uh, a wizard to establish the connection to the SQL server. And for our demo, I'm going to choose the SQL server authentication and key the SQL server name, database name, username and the password. Good. Click create. This is going to establish the connection. Upon successful uh, connection, what we see here is the table and views which are available in the given SQL server. So in my case, I'm going to see all these tables and a view. Correct. And what we need is the timesheet uh, SQL table. Click connect. We are good. So by default, Power Apps is going to create a mobile canvas app with a simple user interface, which is more than suffice to do the crude operations on the SQL table. So let's wait for a couple of minutes. It's going to do the magic now. Awesome. It completed. And what we see here is the out of the box uh, browse screen, detail screen, and the edit screen. Amazing. So as a first step, what we do uh, here to customize our user interfaces, change the title and give some meaningful uh, name. So in my case, I'm going to give the company browse screen and in detail screen as well as in the edit screen. Perfect. You're good. And let's change the theme now. Change it to aqua. That's my favorite because it's going to give me the blue and a dark combo. Amazing. And let's rearrange the field in the edit form. If you choose the edit form, what I see here is the end time is right next to the display name. Uh, it'll be good if I have the end time right next to the start time field. Correct. So let me choose the uh, start time is 8.58. Okay, let me put it on 8.58. Uh, you can do the drag and drop if you're comfortable, but um, I'm not. So I'm going to uh, change the Y coordination position so that it's going to move the end time to the start time, right next to the start time. So it's going to be 858. Good. And uh, let's move the total hovers uh, right next below the end time. Okay, so that's going to be 1001. Good. And for the display name, we need to apply a formula that's going to be like um, uh, last name comma first name. So whatever the user key in for the first name and the last name, it's going to reformat uh, last name comma first name format. And this will not be available in the edit form anymore. So to apply the formula, what we need to do is we need to click on that particular field, choose advance and unlock the uh, change properties. Good. And let's check what is the value of this text field. It's um, data card value 30. Good. So let me go to display name and choose the first name just to make sure that it should be data card value 12. Good. So 13 comma 12. Choose the display name and apply the formula concatenate. So concatenate data card value. 13 and data card value 12 dot text I need to put that one here as well text okay the formula is good now so what happens now the display name needs to be removed from the edit form right so we get into the properties and choose a visible of that's toggling it up that's it so whenever user key in first name and last name the display name is going to be uh, formatted as a last name comma first name and inserted in the sql database okay so that's our uh, intention and uh, what should be the value for total hovers so the total hovers value is the uh, difference of number of hovers uh, an employee worked and that needs to be auto filled 
so we do have a formula for that and let me copy and paste the formula and before that I need to unlock this property as well scroll down and you can see the formula this is going to uh, do the calculation based out on the selected value so let me show it in the preview uh, and we will do one minor change on the start time if you look into the date uh, this is not set to today right so let me unlock it and set it to today so whenever the form uh, sorry the app is opened you can see today's date start and end time and user can choose any date uh, as well so we need to keep that option as well right let me go and preview it there is no items here because uh, there is no rows there is no data at all in the database let me get to the browse screen and uh, let me go to the edit screen now you can see the information uh, I mean the fields over here where the uh, employee can key in the information and fill in this timesheet correct so what we need to do let me enter it employee id department is it first name last name say that i'm going to start my work at 8 in the morning and finish at um, 4 in the noon so total hours is 8 let me go ahead and submit the item that's good now that in the browse screen i do have some information back to the sql database and query to confirm What you see here is the entry what we did in the power app so the display name is last name comma first name and you can see total number of hours as well perfect it works as expected so let me quickly show how the detail screen looks and for some reason I'm not comfortable with the um, uh, format of the detail screen so I can quickly change it uh, back here to the detail screen and get rid of the detail form uh, in the property section choose the layout to horizontal that looks better that's good looks better so now we need to do one minor change because the total hours is a calculated field and then it auto fills based out on the input we key in right so let me go back to the power app edit uh, screen in the edit form choose the total hours data card and uh, Turn off the visibility. We are good. So let me go ahead and preview it again. So now I'm going to do the employee two and three and see HR. So we can keep some uh, name like whatever, whatever. Right. So he's going to work at eight till sixteen and do the entry. What happens now is we can see uh, multiple entries over here. But for some reason, I don't see the item one. Is there any reason for that? Let me run on uh, a query. What's the reason that um, data one got deleted? Let me try one more time. Already one ID, first name, surname, eight till five. Good. Okay, probably some glitch happened. So now I do see both the uh, rows affected. So let me come back to the SQL database and uh, run the query. I'm gonna see employee ID one, employee ID two, and format is good, all set. So what we need to do now is, uh, let's see how this uh, search works. So I'm gonna search for the employees, those who are in IT. That's working as expected. But there is some sort of uh, uh, display issue I can see here. Uh, so it is giving the department display name and the first name can we change this let's see come back here on the detail screen okay that's on the browse gallery good so here is the magic so let me, let me see this sort by columns on the view timesheet that's doing it by department Okay, let it be a department. Uh, there is no issues in there. Uh, but what we can do is we can rearrange the uh, fields, right? Let me let me look into this. Uh, the layout. What I see is the title, subtitle, and the body. 
um, that's how it is going to appear and choose the sorry let me choose the fields click on edit um, let it show the title as my first name sorry display name and I have some issues in this uh, my body as my uh, department and subtitle as um, employee ID. Cool. Let us go back. That's good. So that's going to be uh, the title is going to be my uh, display name, and you can see the employee ID and the department. Let's do another entry. An employee three department as R N D. First name. Uh, like uh, Joe, some name is Peter, and Joe Peter works uh, early morning 4 and finish it off at 11. And key in the value, and we have three different uh, uh, departments here, right? So I can search with a uh, name as well. That's going to work awesome. So we are good, I think uh, the application is working. Uh, as we did uh, some settings right so as per the requirement whatever we have modified it's working as expected and uh, let me quickly save this application and I'll name the application as Labrain's Time Sheet right I'm going to save it to the cloud directly click on save It's not going to take much time now. Amazing, we are done. And this is how uh, we use Power Apps to create a simple uh, timesheet application. There are a lot more formulas which we can apply and I'll continue to do it in the next videos. Thanks a lot.